Greetings, comrades. Hope this finds you well. Quick shout out to the Indie News Network, which I'm stoked to be a part of. So, New York City Mayor Eric Adams said, you know, those 17 people, including eight children that died in that Bronx apartment fire was a tragedy when it's not a tragedy. It's obviously very sick and disgusting that all those people died, but it's a logical product of a capitalist system that puts the needs of profit before the needs of human life. And this is just another example um, of that, right? And it also needs to be pointed out, he's blamed, well, if people just close doors, then this, this wouldn't have happened when there's actually a law in New York City saying that, I believe, apartments buildings with more than three apartments or three stories in them they have to have automatically closing doors this one obviously malfunctioned or it would have closed and oh what a coincidence one of the investors uh in this property was on the mayor's transition team i believe his name was rick loper hopper something like that i'll link the story down below but so again no type of structural critique it's blame the individual blame these uh you know low income folks a lot of them you know are migrants to this to this country and you know this was probably one of the few places that they could afford to live in and and again you don't see these type of fires where people are died i think 60 people were also injured in this in addition to the 17 people that died including eight fucking children you don't see this happening in these expensive ass apartments. You know, you don't see this happening in the, uh, you know, apartment building where Jeff Bezos has four apartments in New York City that cost $100 million. You see this happening in low income areas in these low income apartment buildings, whether it's, you know, this one in the Bronx or Grenfell Towers back, you know, in the UK, that deadly fire that happen there um and again there should not be any type of fucking for-profit like fucking housing because again this is the exact same thing that happens when you put a profit motive on something an essential for life right whether it's housing in this case food health care education water electricity basic essentials there should be no fucking profit motive involved because when the profit motive is put in place as it is in this capitalist hellhole that we call the united states death destruction and misery are a direct are a direct byproduct of that again because the capitalist system puts profits above everything whether it's the lives of of people including children in this case the eight fucking kids that are no longer alive because these fucking slum lords didn't have, you know, proper fire alarms, ventilations, self closing doors as they were required to by law. Um, or it's, you know, the, the environment kind of important to have a sustainable planet to live on, right? But then we have Eric Adams moralizing the individual saying, well, if people just, you know, close doors. This is a lesson we can all learn. Close doors and save lives instead of calling out the fucking slumlords. Because again, one of the investors in this property, Rick Loper, Hopper, whatever the fuck his name is, was on Eric Adams' transition team, on the transition team for housing. He's not calling that, that fucker out, is he? He's blaming the fucking individual, which is typical liberal fucking bullshit right no type of structural critique no type of class analysis it's all moralizing the individual placing the blame on the individual calling it a tragedy when it's fucking tragic but it this this shit happens all the time because again in capitalist hellhole that is the united states the needs of profit the needs of corporations in this case the needs of these housing uh you know investment company that that bought this building that again this building was built i think in 1972 as a public housing place um and it was bought as an investment opportunity again there should be no profit motive involved in fucking housing because when you put the profit there it's going to be placed above taking care of the people that live there 
Um, so what's tragic is, is capitalism. Capitalism is the virus. Capitalism kills. This is just another disgusting and uh, expected example of that, unfortunately, right? And again, it's all time and time again, the crises created by capitalism, no matter what area it kills people. In this case, it's housing or food insecurity or lack of access to health care or clean water, it always impacts the most vulnerable and marginalized people and groups within our society. And again, I read a story, it was largely this building um, is filled with low income folks, a lot of them migrants from other other countries. And this maybe was the only place that they could afford. And as a result, they had to live in these substandard fucking conditions and 17 of them are now dead and 60 injured because of capitalist greed. Um, capitalism is is the sickness. The, the system is the sickness. I, I believe that's something that Richard Wolff said. And this is just another example of that, unfortunately. Um, so it's not it's not a fucking tragedy. This is a foregone conclusion that shit happens like this when you put fucking a profit motive in housing or food or health care. People die and are injured sometimes permanently as a result, as happened to these 17 people, including eight children who are no longer with us because of capitalist greed. It's fucking disgusting.